Hey guys, it's Priscilla from Prisca Art Henna, and today I'm going to be filling some cones and doing a henna stain test on my palm. We have the henna right here. The first thing I'm going to do is do a little test on my middle finger and see if it stains a nice bright orange, and that means that it's ready. So as you can see, I washed it off, and it's nice bright orange color on my finger. So that means that we're ready to fill up some henna cones. I'm going to use my reusable plastic cone, put all my henna in it, and I used most of it, so that's pretty good. Um, I actually added some more henna powder to it because it was not thick enough. So, put my hair tie around it, get it ready to go. Snow henna comes out the top of it. And I already made my henna cones, so if you guys want a video on how to make henna cones and how to fill them, let me know. Oh, my favorite part. Ooh, the henna goes all the way down to the bottom. I, know, I love doing that part and filling the cones. Um, I already had some tape ready. I got these all taped off and ready to go. I'm going to fast forward part um, the next part of the cones. I don't think you guys want to watch me make a few cones in a row of the same thing. So here's some fast forward part. Um, just making some more cones, making a mess, getting henna everywhere. I found out that my countertops are actually stainable, so now there are some orange dots on it. Yay! Um, <laughs> so we're almost done here. All right, I, I made it's like a really small batch just for my appointment this week. Got four little cones. Now I'm gonna do a fun little palm design. You see that little orange spot on my hand? I usually do just simple stain tests like that. But you know, sometimes you wanna go crazy and just do your palm. So I had this design drawn in my sketchbook already. And well, not this, but like similar to this. So I kinda had inspiration to go off of. And just, you know, filling it in, going up my finger. I'm not gonna lie, my hand was cramped, cramped drawing this and trying to have it fit to where the camera could see it, where I could draw on it, but I was struggling. I was like, when will this end? So I would have done more of my other fingers, but I was like, nah, snub pain for one day. So the design's done. Here's me outside. Hi guys, guys got like a lot better lighting out here. I fast forwarded this design, but I will post a full video of how to do it on my channel. I'll link it below when it's uploaded. And here's the fun part, scraping off all of the henna paste. You can see how the stain test went perfect because it's a nice bright orange underneath. So the henna is ready to go. I got some coconut oil from inside of my house to get off all the little bits of henna that gets left on there because that's what happens. So don't use water when you take off your henna. Use a natural oil like coconut olive, mustard oil, anything like that. It's perfect. And here's how it looked. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe!